Hi, this is Warren Buckleitner. Today I'm looking at Token Nature, one of the most exciting and most sophisticated apps that Tokoboka has made. The real genius of this app is the complete ease of use. You start out one touch and you're in, and just touch anywhere on the screen and you can start creating a landscape. Now the way this app works is when you create the conditions, the animals just magically appear. In this case, I saw a bear, so I decided to zoom in and got distracted by this hole. This turns out to be a rabbit hole, and I decided to see what was inside. Um, notice you can move around easily using that globe on the right, and you can use your menus on the bottom to put different food items out and take pictures and so on. So I want to point out right away that one of the hidden learning objectives that this app achieves really well is spatial relations. Zooming in between a, 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 a helicopter view and then the, the cognitive process that is involved when you zoom down into the, um, the ground level. And so these are two modes here. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what kind of landscape you could make. And so I went into super speed and um, created it mountains, lakes, and uh, added all sorts of different kinds of trees to sort of show you the range of animals that appear. So now that we have a pretty complete forest or environment, we can start to really have some fun here. And one of the things you discover is that you can collect things. You can collect acorns, flowers, and this deer is hungry, so I'm going to feed it some berries. And it comes over, and everything is pretty easy. You can also touch the animals, and they respond. Not a whole lot. You can't really pet them like you can with some apps, but you can feed them. And they always, they always respond in a positive way. I should also point out that there is no death in this app. You can't hurt anything, and the whole thing is a very peaceful thing. So then I go in, I find that I can catch fish, and this is one of the really delightful discoveries of this app. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Um, I guess the fish do die, but that's the only exception to that. So once I have some fish and I've collected food uh, that, that's appropriate for the animal, I can go and feed my bear. Now there's about 10 creatures total in this app, including a bird, there's rabbits, there's deer, and there's a fox. Now in our review of this app, which appears in our December issue, we point out that the biology behind this is very general, and so all you environmental science majors out there don't get too bent out of shape by the generalities presented here. But keep in mind, besides the spatial relations learning, there are some big ideas, and that is that different sorts of habitats, which are fairly realistic, uh, will support different forms of life. Once you've fed your animals, or taking care of them, you can collect them. There's a collecting thing that you can use with taking pictures. You have to approve permission for this app to access your photo album. But be warned that your child may fill up your photos. Now just to test the limits of this app, I took my nearly complete landscape and I decided to make everything water. I wanted to see if things died or what happened when the land disappeared. And as you can see here that this is handled in a very appropriate way that wildlife just disappears. And um, I create something kind of pleasant in a different way. So there you have it, Token Nature, one of the best apps to come out of Tokoboka. Congratulations to the team that worked on this and every child that gets to play. I'm Warren Buckleitner. We'll see you next time.